Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's that obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Oh, don't worry, bud. Shit, when someone's dead, you, you know, you gotta hold on to those treasures, man. It's the last memory you might have of them. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Guillen and Oneida. Turkeys. Yes. <laughs> gobble gobble. Maybe I have to go down then. There's the pocket watch. Now the question is how do I get this over? I tried to just move it, like, trying to move it in a certain way. God damn it. It's so obvious what I gotta do, but it's just annoying. Got it. At 
least we found his pocket watch. And there was no monsters down here, so... Let's just clear out the farm and we're good to go. Motherfucker. There we go. Cinnamon buns, ooh. Ah, shit. Okay, I guess I can't go over here. I thought I could rush over, but I can't, I guess. I'll have to go the old-fashioned way and run across. nicest thing anyone's ever done for me well um we did save your life remember yes well I meant aside from that thank you so much you two I have little to offer in return but here take this set of treasure keys thank you Guillen I'm glad we were able to be of service <sighs> having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease thanks dust I'm not sure what you did, but Gian is back to his old self again. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the... Innocence he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. The tragedy 
tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That Fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. No, I wish he had. Sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer. Hey, Isa! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. came from the center of the village! Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down!
last of them. Ginger, are you... I... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. <laughs> That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except... Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. Seems our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um... I certainly hope you see.